Near Field Communication or NFC is similar to Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as it allows communication and data transfer between two devices. The only constraint is that NFC requires the devices to be within 2 inches or 5 cm of each other. But the benefit is that you don't need to pair the two devices. NFC is based on radio frequency identification or RFID technology which was one way communication while NFC is a communication that can work both ways. NFC works on something called electromagnetic induction. A changing magnetic field near a coil causes current to be induced in the coil. There are two types of NFC devices. An active device which is also known as the reader and a passive device that transmits the information. The passive device contains a chip that stores the information and an antenna. The active device is powered by any kind of electric source. In turn, the active device powers the passive device using electromagnetic induction. Once the passive device is powered, it emits electromagnetic pulses through the antenna. These pulses are interpreted as binary information which can be a URL, an identification number or even a photograph. NFC can be used for short range confidential communication like credit card transactions. A more general application would be to detect when you get in and get out of the bus or train and deduct the fare from your credit card directly eliminating the need for you to buy a physical ticket. So, NFC can be used to communicate small volumes of data over short distances. But credit cards are passive devices which means they transmit information without needing to verify the authenticity of the active device which means that anyone can bring an active device near your wallet and read vital credit card information. Albeit, special cases like these are available that can block the active device from reading information. All is well. NFC can also be implemented in the development of the Internet of Things and will be soon used widely in the future. If you learned something new, well then give this video a like and subscribe for some more awesome science.